hi everyone today i am going to explain about nutritional aspects of proteins okay let us discuss about the nutritional aspects of proteins here dietary protein requirement of animals and human is not were well, not fed direct form of proteins okay dietary dietary protein requirement of animals and humans is not for direct form of proteins but for specific amounts of essential amino acids provided by dietary proteins okay specific amount of essential amino acids provided by dietary proteins for animals and humans okay proteins differ in their amino acid content actually proteins differ in their amino acid content in some proteins one or more amino acids may not present and some may be more concentrated in some proteins one or more amino acids are may not present and some may be more concentrated okay if a protein is 100% lacking in one or more essential amino acids it cannot be sufficient in diet okay if a protein is 100% lacking in one or more essential amino acids if no protein and any more complete ka absent anukondi va oka ninchi one kaani ante kaane ekkuva amino essential amino acids lo ee protein content anedi lacking undante it cannot be sufficient in diet okay for what purpose means to provide the protein requirement of the body mana body ki avasaramaina protein ni provide cheyadaniki ee ee di ee ee is sufficient kaad anamata okay next coming to the point the biological significance of protein depends on its role of digestibility amino acid composition and also its availability okay the biological significance of protein the biological importance of protein and it may depend on the rate of digestibility amino acid composition and also its availability okay biological value will be high if the amino acid composition is very similar to that of body proteins okay biological value anedi ekku untundi ekkada ante amino acid composition is similar to that of body proteins okay based on the amino acid composition proteins are broadly classified into three groups the first one is complete proteins next like incomplete proteins partially complete proteins okay let us discuss about the complete proteins proteins with all the essential amino acids are called complete proteins proteins with all the essential amino acids called complete proteins these are also called first class proteins okay these promote good growth these promotes good growth okay next kind source of the pro complete proteins are whole egg and milk proteins meat fish poultry soya bean wheat and granular tissue proteins okay next coming to the point partially complete proteins that means here proteins that are partially lacking in one or more essential amino acids are called partially complete proteins okay these promote moderate growth for good growth they this promote moderate growth for good growth they need to be supply higher concentration okay excuse me this promote moderate growth for good growth kosam aithe they need to supply higher concentrations okay so a source of partially complete proteins are lysine and threonine are the limiting amino acids cysteine methionine and tryptophan are limiting amino acids in red gram okay incomplete proteins coaches na kudki proteins that are completely lacking in one or more essential amino acids are called incomplete proteins okay these are unsuitable either growth or for maintenance okay example thing sources of chelsea gelatin has tryptophan g a tryptophan gene has no lysine and tryptophan okay sources are like okay cereals legumes nuts are generally poor because they lack some essential amino acids and they are not income and they are incomplete proteins of poor quality okay next coming to the point biological values of proteins okay mam biological value values of proteins kurinchi telustunnam the biological value of protein okay is defined as percentage of absorbed nitrogen retained by the 
percentage of absorbed nitrogen retained by the body okay here okay, biological value elaga chestarante dan formula cheptan chudandi biological value equals to nitrogen retained by nitrogen absorbed into 100 okay nitrogen retained by nitrogen absorbed into 100 okay here di different dietary proteins contain different quantities of the various essential amino acids different dietary proteins contains different quantities of various amino acid various essential amino acids okay some proteins may be rich in some essential amino acids and some may entirely lack one or more essential amino acids okay the degree of usefulness of a given dietary protein is called as biological value of protein degree of usefulness of a given dietary protein is called as biological value of protein this is calculated by four methods protein efficiency ratio this test consists of feeding weaning albino rats with 10 percent test protein diet and recording the gain in the body weight for a period of four weeks okay in protein efficiency ratio this just consists of feeding weaning albino rats weaning albino rats with 10 percent test protein diet okay and recording the gain in the body weight for a period of four weeks okay here protein efficiency ratio is represented by gain in the weight of rate per gram protein ingested okay see here the equation protein efficiency ratio is equal to gain in body weight by protein ingested okay the protein and the protein efficiency ratio for egg protein is 4.5 milk protein is 3 rice is 2.2 fish 3 meat 2.7 soya bean 2.1 okay next coming to the biological value as earlier i said the biological value of protein is defined as the percentage of absorbed nitrogen okay absorbed nitrogen retained in the body okay here biological value is equals to nitrogen retained by nitrogen absorbed into 100 okay let's discuss about the procedure Okay, for the measurement of biological value, the experimental animals, namely weaning albino rats, are chosen. Okay, in okay, uh, protein efficiency ratio, lo kora mana mem choose chest kuno weaning albino rats ne choose chest kuno. So here also the uh, experiment ki biological value test ki mana ekar kora ki biological value measure chahi tan ki weaning albino rats ne tis kuno mata. They are first fed with a protein free diet for ten days. Then they are kept on a 10% protein diet to be tested for biological value. Okay. Here, urine and fecus are collected for both the periods that is protein free diet and protein diet. Nitrogen is estimated in the diet, fecus and urine samples. Biological value can be calculated by the formula. Following formula, biological value equals to N absorbed minus N lost in the metabolism per and absorb it into 100 okay okay here biological value is equals to in minus f n minus fc by in minus f n minus fc by my sorry biological value equals to in minus f n minus fc minus v n minus vc by IN minus FN minus FC into 100. Okay. Next, coming to the point. Here, IN is nitrogen ingested. FN means nitrogen in fecus on protein diet. IFC means nitrogen in fecus and protein free diet. VN means nitrogen in urine on protein diet. Whereas, VC means nitrogen in urine on protein free diet okay the biological value of some proteins are egg equals to nine egg and in 94 into the milk 84 fish 85 soya beans 65 rice 68 and meat 75 okay next coming to the point net protein utilization net protein utilization this is a better nutritional index than biological value since it takes into account the digestibility of food okay this is a better nutritional index than 
biological value since it takes into account the digestibility of food. Okay. Here net protein utilization can be calculated by nitrogen retained by nitrogen ingested into 100. Okay. Next coming to the point chemical score. Chemical score. This is based on the chemical analysis of the protein for the composition of essential amino acids which is then compared with the reference proteins. Okay. This is based on the chemical analysis of the protein for the composition of essential amino acids which is then compared with the reference protein. Okay. The chemical score is defined as the ratio between the quality of the most limiting essential amino acid in the test protein to quantity of the same amino acid in the egg protein. Okay. Chemical score is defined as ratio between the quality of the most limiting essential amino acid in the test protein to quantity of the same amino acid in the egg protein. Okay. Chemical score equals to milli, um, milligrams of the limiting amino acid per gram of protein by milligram of the same amino acid per gram of egg protein into 100 okay here the chemical score of egg protein for any uh, for any one of the essential amino acids is taken as 100 and the rest of the proteins are compared okay this is the overview of nutritional aspects of proteins and biological values of proteins okay thank you